and welcome back to Life Share University of Healing. Today is the first week that I'm starting to provide for you guys an angel reading. And this is one of the angel art psychic readings that I have done in the past and for myself. And I am asking the angels to bring me a message every week and I ask them to help me choose the message that they feel is needed the most. And this week it is bringing out the inner child to play because even though we are responsible, well, most of us are responsible adults, that we still need to give ourselves time to play, okay? Time to have fun, time to laugh and enjoy ourselves. So what I'm going to do now is, and every week after this, is I'm going to bring you an angel art psychic reading and I'm going to bring you the messages that the angels choose, a different message every week, of course. And I'm going to show you the symbols and start to explain the different symbols that I receive so you can get an idea of what angel art is all about and also receive the healing messages that you need in your life today or maybe tomorrow or maybe next month you may have something going on and you'll go back and say oh my gosh I remember the angels gave Lisa a message that I should do blah 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 or whatever whatever the message is so I truly hope that you enjoy these and uh, as I'm moving forward through the video I will be explaining everything to you. So give me a second and I'm going to get myself into a meditative state and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to October 1st Angel Art Reading. And first, I want to start with, as you can see, I'm going to be pointing to some things with the arrow on the screen. And I'm going to show you where the symbols are that I'm reading and how I'm getting these messages. So first, I want to start with, you see this, whoops, sorry about that. You see this right here. These are children, symbolized children. And you see they're holding hands. One's blue, one's green. Blue is emotions, green is healing. So as you can see, they're running through this beautiful sunshining garden that, and playing, okay? So this is what tells me that you have to bring out the inner child within yourself. Give yourself time to play. Because if you look above where it has a red flower, a couple of red flowers, a blue flower and a yellow flower, this red and blue together symbolize balance. So it's saying get out in nature, join hands with friends, groups of people that are like-minded and run through nature happily and Spirit, which is the yellow, okay, or goldish yellow, is bringing you balance through this. And if you look back here, here's a tall tree growing, okay? This symbolizes a life tree growing your life. And this is going to help grow your life. And right here is like a swirl of energy, which is these two children playing. Up here, you can see that it's like a wish, okay? Like if you blew off the, the little uh, fuzzies from a wish, okay? 
you can have anything you want okay you can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it and you open your mind to your true self to your true being your consciousness your true internal consciousness also there's a moon and there's a sun okay that also symbolizes male and female energy or balance okay so again you know give yourself the time that you need to heal give yourself the time that you need to play okay to have fun in life I know we all have responsibilities and I'm the number one person that is guilty of doing this and again like I said this is one of my own angel art readings and they are telling me stop Lisa Give yourself time to have fun because I'm so focused on work. And to have a balanced life, we need to balance all parts of our life. Okay? And as you can see, they're running into this beautiful open field, all open. Okay? It's sort of like a cloud. And all the, uh, the green, again, symbolizing healing. And here on this one flower, you can see right here that there is a new, uh, a, a new person growing or uh, a spirit guide, actually, that this is a spirit guide calling these, these children. Then you have another guide over here that's holding a bowl of what I feel is water, which symbolizes cleansing. So being out in nature is very cleansing, very releasing, okay? When you go out in nature, and when, for example, when somebody is very angry or is in a bad situation, what's the first thing a lot of people will do? Go for a walk. What do they say? Walk it off. Walk it off. Go out, get some fresh air, walk it off. And that's pretty much what you can do here okay up here you can see right here there is a, another an angel that's sending out healing energy into the tree okay so that is and you see how how it's lighter green and then it turns white and then it turns a nice forest green and then it's surrounded by blue and red which again is balanced and at the top you can see the, the gold the light shining so it's very very important to get out in nature and give yourself time to play and be surrounded by like-minded people and remove any negative people that may be sucking or draining your energy because you don't want anybody stealing all your good energy because that's just going to bring you down. So if you're in a negative environment, for example, get yourself out of it somehow. I always say either limit or eliminate. If you can't eliminate the situation or the person, then limit your time with them. Because if you feel that somebody else is draining your energy or causing you harm or fe making you feel badly about yourself it's time to get away from them okay so I want to give you a little homework and I just got this that I want to give you a little assignment to do every week and I want you guys to comment and tell me what you're gonna do or how you feel about this angel art reading and trust me this one Angel art reading that I'm showing you right now is a, is one from a few years ago because what I'm doing is I'm taking my own healing path, what helped me, and I'm giving that information to you. I'm giving those messages to you. So some of them get very, very detailed. This one happens to be a little bit more easy to read, but I'm telling you, we... I'm actually going to flash a few at the end. Actually, I'm sorry. 
if you look at my angel art reading video, I forgot I had that up, the one I just put up uh, last week, then you will see a lot of different uh, angel art readings, uh, psychic readings that I've done in the past as well. But as for your homework, okay, I want you to every single day this week choose a time that's good for you, of course, and just take 15 minutes to 30 minutes every single day and do something outdoors, even if you go for a walk in the park or even if you just call up a friend and go sit outside on their porch. Anything that you feel you've been wanting to do and you've been putting off because you're too busy. And I'm going to do this stuff with you. And I'm going to start posting my comments too of what I've been doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope this message brings many, many healing and blessings to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I thank you for watching my video. And I will talk to you next Monday. Namaste.